Hey, this is Charles 9mm and we've got a great product to show you today. We're going to be looking at some brass knuckles. Uh, they're somewhat controversial, and uh, but very interesting. I especially like the history about them. It's got some pretty cool things. Um, there is, probably since the beginning of the time, everybody has used some sort of a, a punch or strike amplifier that sort of... Uh, you know, kind of, you know, fills the hand, gives weight to the hand, protects the uh, the knuckles, so you can have a more devastating punch. Uh, what I didn't know in looking into the history of this is uh, the Sikhs actually in the um, in the 18th century made something somewhat similar to this, and they made it from the metals that were available to them in the Punjab region of India, and uh, they uh, were used uh, for self defense in that in those days. The other thing I thought was kind of interesting is during the Civil War that uh, these were pretty popular to carry. Um, they also made them out of lead, and when that was not uh, available, some of the uh, some of the soldiers fighting in the uh, in the Civil War would actually carve them out of wood, char carve them out of hardwood. So apparently, they felt there was a need to to amplify that punch to really give rigidity to the hand and a little bit of weight. Now, also, one more thing about the uh, the 1800s is that uh, it's been known that Abraham Lincoln's bodyguards also carried brass knuckles. Uh, I thought that was fascinating. Uh, these are a very good quality, and they're from a company that sells them, that uh, distributes in the U.S. called TheRealBrassKnuckles.com. TheRealBrassKnuckles.com. And I uh, found them on, uh, on uh, Instagram. Very nice company, really uh, just a, a, a small business owner trying to uh, to make a living and uh, importing the best they can find. And these are made out of solid brass. There are some out there that uh, in the marketplace uh, on the internet, they're actually like a pot metal with either a, uh, a gold uh, uh, colored coating or a very light brass on it, but uh, uh, plating on it. But these are the real deal. This is what he calls, uh, the owner calls this, his company, TheRealBrassKnuckles.com is because this is really cast and really made in the traditional fashion. Uh, in some countries, it's called an American Fist. Uh, one of them is called an English Fist. A couple other names. Wikipedia has some pretty, a nice article on it. I think it is very, very interesting. But why would you want to have these? Is there, in a lot of places, they're not legal to carry. Well... I mean, they make a very interesting uh, uh, paperweight. In most places, you can you could own them, especially in the United States, you can own them. In a lot of places, you can't carry them, um, but they'll let you get a gun permit, but you can't carry uh, brass knuckles. Like, uh, for instance, in my area of the country, I cannot carry these outside the house, but I can carry this, and I can carry, I can carry this so I can carry I can carry a uh, a, a Glock uh, 9 millimeter uh, but I cannot carry a, um, I cannot carry a set of brass knuckles because apparently somebody could get hurt with these I don't know so being sarcastic um, but needless to say for me this is really about collecting it's really more about the history of it it really does make a nice a nice uh, paperweight uh, on your desk. Uh, there are people who have uh, made belt buckles and artwork out of it. Uh, uh, what the owner of uh, the Real Brass Knuckles tells me is they uh, they have, have supplied uh, prop houses for Hollywood movies as well for these. And uh, I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, I don't advocate that you break the law and check the law because there are some exceptions in some states if you do have a handgun carry permit or a a, uh, a carry permit of some sort weapons permit you can carry them if you do carry them you're going to have to know how to carry them i'm not going to teach you today how to use them obviously what the purpose was to give weight and rigidity could you hurt your hand absolutely because you're still bashing into a hard surface are they the best self-defense weapon the best self-defense is not to get in the situation in the first place if you're down to the point where you're punching people with brass knuckles uh, you're in a pretty rough spot anyway. Um, hopefully you don't have to ever hit, do any kind of uh, self-defense. But once you're down to that, then it's pretty rough. So I really think of these more of a collector's item, a thing of kind of historic beauty. And uh, 
just to have a little touch of history to know that like for instance Abraham Lincoln's bodyguards carried knuckles very similar to this pretty cool yeah check out the uh, the bra the real brass knuckles .com. get a pair take a look at them if they are, they're allowed in your area get them and uh, put them on your desk use them as a paperweight I think it's pretty cool looks good good in some of the uh, the photographs and things that I take of uh, you know knife and other product reviews that I do so I'm really glad to have them thank you uh, the real uh, the real brass knuckles.com appreciate it thank you bye bye